Hi everyone, so here's the deal. Uh, this is an old Mac Mini G4, as you can see. Uh, and I'm trying to, uh, even though it's an older machine, uh, I'm trying to get the most out of it. Um, trying to get rid of any bottlenecks it still has. Uh, as you may see, I, it's non-standard memory in there. I upgraded it to one gigabyte. It's a PC400 module, module 2.5 cache delay. Um, Probably not even, uh, probably even faster than the thing actually supports. But want to make sure that the memory is maxed out completely, both performance and capacity-wise. Uh, which leaves another bottleneck, which is the hard drive. Uh, it takes 44-pin uh, IDE drives, um, and usually, uh, if you're lucky, it's a 5400 RPM. It may actually be a, uh, a slower one. Uh, 4500 RPM or something, uh, 4200 RPM, uh, and those are pretty slow. Uh, obvious choice would be to uh, try to, to see if you can put a solid state drive in there, but uh, as uh, some of you may have noticed, uh, they're hard to come by with an IDE connector, and, and whenever you find them with IDE, they're overpriced and usually uh, pretty slow, uh, even for a solid state drive. Um, I mean, especially for a solid state drive. <laughs> Anyway, um, it would be nice if you could just take any regular SATA uh, uh, solid-state drive and somehow retrofit it in, in, into the, an older Mac. Um, point is, um, how would you fit uh, an adapter? Uh, it takes a 2.5-inch drive, and there's no way to uh, put any adapter in between. It's a very tight, tight little casing, as you can see. Uh, so one way to do it uh, is actually to go for a so-called, for one of these, a, um, an MSATA uh, 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 solid-state drive. These are an even smaller form factor than regular SATA, uh, as you can see. Uh, and if we could find an adapter, which uh, a 2.5-inch adapter with 44-pin IDE, we'd be set, right? Uh, so that's exactly what I uh, went hunting for. And uh, they weren't easy to find, but they actually do exist. Here's one. Uh, I uh, ordered this one through Amazon, and it's an uh, uh, MSATA, uh, not regular SATA, MSATA to 44 IDE adapter. Uh, now, whenever you go online uh, hunting for these things, be careful because many of those casings MSAT are MSATA to regular SATA adapters, um, which won't do in the case of, a, of an older G4 Mac Mini because they only have an IDE interface. And this one is more complex because it requires some logic to uh, convert between SATA and uh, and legacy IDE, uh, but this one is by the lock, and uh, well, this one should um, should do just nicely. And uh, you can just, as you can see, you can just put the M SATA connector in. I'm not going to do it right now because um, I want to be careful with static electricity. Um, I would recommend if you work on these delicate parts like these, uh, please use a anti-static wristband um, because yeah, static electricity is a big deal. People tend to underestimate it, and uh, even though um, parts are th like these are have become much more affordable, it would be a shame if you uh, if you would to damage them. Also, uh, damage as a result of static electricity often very hard to pinpoint uh, when you get stability problems. So please save yourself the uh, the um, uh, all the all the hassle and trouble, and uh, just prepare. Uh, work safely and uh, use a wristband, please. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm, uh, this should do nicely. As you can see, the MSATA uh, adapter fits right inside the casing, so it will not make it any bulkier. So the end result is a 2.5 inch form factor drive with an IDE 44 pin adapter. Uh, as for the uh, specification, um, this is a regular. This is a very recent uh, MSATA adapter. It's actually end of life. Uh, this model, the M5M Plus. But it's six gigabytes SATA three, I think. Uh, it's actually <laughs> the 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 IDE uh, ADA 100 ATA 100 adapter won't even come close to saturating the bandwidth here. Um, uh, but that's okay. Uh, what we want to do is uh, take away any remaining bottlenecks uh, on the on the system itself. The fact that we will never be able to utilize the maximum speed of the M SATA drive, that's not really too big a deal. Uh, just want to see how uh, <laughs> what it what it's capable of if you take it, if you take away any any possible external bottlenecks um of course before you plug it into the uh, mac mini uh depending on what model m sata adapter you get uh, you may want to upgrade the firmware first 
firmware upgrade utilities, well, they don't take into account that you're going to install it into a power PC machine. So you're going to have to run, connect this to an Intel or AMD machine first. Uh, most of these uh, firmware upgrade utilities, they run either DOS, uh, FreeDOS or Windows. You might have to burn an ISO uh, to a disk or to a USB or write it to a USB key and then boot it. Um, Obviously, you won't be able to do that on, on a G4 uh, Mac. So uh, do that on an Intel first. And something which is very practical for that is one of these things. Uh, this is an mSATA to regular SATA adapter. Um, and this should make it easy for you to just hook it up to a regular recent uh, Intel or AMD motherboard. And uh, and that way you can prepare the, uh, the mSATA uh, solid state drive before you... Uh, uh, before you connect, uh, before you install into your Mac. Um, in the case of this one, this was an M5M Plus. I checked the goplexor.com site, and it actually did not have any firmware updates, so that will save me some trouble. Uh, but w if you get any other model which does have any firmware updates, make sure you install those firmware updates first using one of these uh, before you put them into your Mac. Um, obviously, there's something else you need to know. Uh, Modern features just like uh, native command queuing and uh, also trim support are of course not available on uh, on your older Mac. Uh, there is of course the excellent uh, trim enabler uh, by I think they the company is called Cinderai. It's uh, freely available. It's an excellent piece of software, but it'll obviously or most likely I haven't checked it, but most likely it will not work on a older PowerPC Mac. So you won't be able to enable trim, um, which is not the best for the performance. But like I said, the performance is so incredibly much faster than uh, than the Mac would be even capable of, of, of utilizing anyway. So uh, yeah, so this would be a way to uh, to get the Mac the most out of your older Mac and uh, keep it chugging along. Um, it's it's a hobby thing. It won't be making it uh, very practical for a lot of modern day heavy application, but uh, it should be a, it should make quite a bit of difference. Especially compared 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 to one of those old 42R 4200 RPM ID drives. So yeah, I'm gonna hook this up and see um, see what speed uh, speed benefit I'll be getting. I'm pretty I'm quite curious. I'll let you know uh, how it performs. Any questions? Uh, let me know below. And uh, I mean in the comments below. And uh, well, uh, again, if you work with this, please. Uh, uh, use an anti-static wristband. Be ca be careful and good luck. And uh, sh please, by all means, uh, share your uh, your experiences uh, uh, below or wherever you want. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching.